Hey guys, David here from Gugu to 55 Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to quantize and or fix timing issues in recorded audio in Reason 7. Okay, so let's get started. So Reason 7 offers a lot of new features, and one of them that I really like is the ability to quantize and fix timing imperfections in audio clips that you've recorded. Now for this, I'm just going to be using a simple vocal that I recorded, but um, this will work with instruments or anything else. So basically what you'd use this for is if you recorded something and it is a bit offbeat, this will help you fix it. Now I'm going to apologize in advance as the quality of the audio that will come through is not the greatest, but it's enough to basically see how this is done. Anyway, so the first thing that I'm going to do is just play this back and like I said, the quality isn't the greatest, but you could see basically where the timing issue is. So I'll go ahead and play it. And you can hear that the two make comes in a bit too late. So that's what we're going to fix today with Reason 7. Now, keep in mind that this will work with also instrument tracks. Now, this won't work for all audio clips. Sometimes your only option is actually to re-record the clip. But in most circumstances, this will work. The only thing that I find is that sometimes Reason 7 will actually uh, not put the markers in the right place. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to double click on the audio clip that you want to fix and these are the markers that I'm talking about. Now if you haven't already, you're going to want to go over to your transpose type section over here and you're going to want to select what you're looking for. Now all round and melody are more for instrument tracks and but if it's a vocal that you're working with and you want to preserve the expression, you're going to want to click on vocal because this will basically keep all the formants in place. So once you have selected that, all you need to do is go ahead and zoom in to your audio clip down here and zoom in as much as you'd like and you can see the markers here where Reason automatically placed them so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm actually just going to take it and drag that is the two and I'm going to drag it into where I feel it should be placed I'm also going to drag this one because now the two will be way too long and the make will come in too late still so I'm going to drag this one also Okay, so now I just corrected the timing of that, so we'll go ahead and click play. And you can see that the actual timing of the two make is better now. If we also turn on the click, you can check again. Yeah, that is pretty much in sync with the rest of it. So thanks for watching and I hope I helped. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments box below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and check out my Facebook and Twitter page and my website. Now all the links are in the description below.